A lot of folks here at MGM Resorts International, they think of the MGM Grand, we're much larger than that. Uh, we own half the strip. We have a lot of different properties and a lot of different retail and a lot of different uh, dining experience, entertainment experiences, room experiences. So we have a lot of different content. But just in Las Vegas alone, we have 47,000 rooms. You know, 47,000 rooms, that's a lot of rooms. 40 million people come to Vegas a year. Of those 40 million, 20 million stay with us, but not, not just the 20 million stay with us and come through our properties, all the people come to see the sites. I mean, Bellagio's iconic. So we have people coming in to see the fountain. They walk from the fountain in, they see the Chululi glass on the ceiling. They walk in and walk around the property, just enjoy the facilities. So they might, you might not be actually staying at our property, but you might be consuming a service at our property. Well, so much of digital marketing has been sending information to consumers, guests, and say, hey, here's my email, here's my, here's my offer, you know, here, here's my you know, push, here's my push notification, here, download my app, do this, do this. What's really neat about the Adobe tools is that we're now able to have the guest you know, have an interface on mobile, on a mobile website, and ask, we can ask a question, what do you want to do? But if I can actually now facilitate a question and ask you a question, not send you one, ask you one, and give you a response with content that has rich images and up-to-date content, not expired content, that's awesome. I mean, you're helping communicate with the guest and have a conversation in this digital marketing world. You know, the biggest way to talk about how Adobe's playing a role is allowing us to be corporate-led versus property-led. Every property we have, from Excalibur to Circus Circus to Bellagio and Aria, they all have their unique brands, and they have wonderful people that service the guest and do amazing things for the guest. Uh, but they have that brand identity. So we bought analytics in 2013, we put it on our sites and learned right away where we were making money and losing money. Uh, we learned right away what the guests wanted to see. So just tagging the existing sites, again, being successful, we already made the ROI in one year on our project because we just used the software as a service out the door. We also used Target and we did different things on Target and we optimized our loyalty website. So again, we took, we took little projects that we could succeed while we were building this huge foundation in AEM. So we're having you know, content authoring, you know, having all these templates that the properties could use to execute their communication with the guest and to publish content to really move to a publishing model. I mean, the, the, to think of the power that someone at the property can change the content based on, and they're, they're running around all the time taking new pictures of things and it's seasonal and making announcements about the pool opening because the spring's coming. Now they don't have to open a ticket to have an image done. They can change their own hero images. They can publish the new pool pictures. They just remodeled the, the, the bar by the beach. You know, they can, they're in control. Even my role, the chief digital officer, didn't exist in my company when I first showed up. It was designed to do guest technology and guest-facing technology because it's such an important thing to the entire guest experience.